Hi, my name's uh, Chris Ellsworthy. I'm the inventor, designer and owner of Cell. Uh, we make the Robox 3D printer. And here at CS this year, we're launching our dual material head, amongst other heads as well. Uh, it's going to enable our machine to have different support material to the main print material and print in multicolors and a much wider variety of materials. Right from the off, we designed our ma machine ready for dual material printing. But because we've designed our own firmware and software and all our own hardware as well, it's been quite a slog to get where we are today. Uh, we had a real loyal backing straight off the back of our Kickstarter campaign, uh, but now we want to give those customers what we promised them right from the beginning. So we promised them dual material stuff. It's taken us longer than we'd wanted to do it, but that's because we're trying to make the software as easy as possible to use it. And we were talking earlier about how the fact that Roblox is one of the easiest printers on the market to use. And we don't want to add hardware and go backwards and make it more difficult to use. So we want to make sure that dual material is just as easy as single material to use. On our original 3D printing head, we had uh, two nozzles on the same melt chamber. So basically you've got one material feed going in and you've got two nozzles. And inside we've got this innovative needle valve system where you can shut the flow of material off directly just behind the needle on one and then let it pour from the other. And that means you can do the very detailed surface on the outside of your model and hash the inside with a large nozzle. And this basically means all that work is to make your prints faster and have a much broader spectrum of resolutions you can print in. But that needle valve system then lends itself really nicely to our new dual material head. So one of the biggest problems with dual material heads is the nozzle you're not using. The nozzle you're not using continues to ooze and other manufacturers have to build a, a, an ooze tower to wipe that nozzle on or they have to wait for it to cool down so the material doesn't drop out. But because of that dual material and nozzle system that we've got in the old head, we can literally shut the flow of material off when we want it. We don't even have to cool the head down and we can open and close these nozzles whenever we want as quickly. So it doesn't, a dual material print takes exactly the same length of time as a single material print. Uh, it just depends on how much material you're depositing. At the same time as in being able to print with all the current materials we have, like Colorfab's uh, PTG, we just we launched their N-Gen on our machine as well. We've also, this one could go up to 300 degrees now, so we've got nylons and polycarbonates we're printing with well. Uh, we've also just started to do a deal with Polymaker. They've got some great um, poly support which really just, just breaks away and doesn't leave any scarring on tissues. And the dual material means that you can print in that poly support with one nozzle and print in polycarbonate with the other nozzle and have perfect parts uh, like this. So this is a, a polycarbonate sphere which printed and originally when it's spring printed it comes with this uh, support structure on. And now to break it off uh, you don't have to put it in a tank to dissolve it away, you literally break it off in less than 30 seconds you've taken off all the support material from that part. We wanted to make the upgrade as simple as possible um, but we wanted to also fix some things which weren't quite right on the original machine. So we've, incre we've improved the uh, cable management system behind the, the X carriage, which makes our homing and probing of the bed much more accurate. And it also means the second balance tube running into the head now doesn't affect that homing position. So those parts are also included in the upgrade. But the, real, the second reel holder is literally just a bayonet fit. You take off an old part, you put in a new part, and your bayonet fits on, and that's it, it's done. And the head, just as before, you just have one thumb wheel, it screws on, and that's it, you just fit the new head. It's as simple as that. We want to bring out a drag knife cutter. So we're moving just slightly away from 3D printing, so we can do stylus cutting of paper and card and vinyl. We also have ideas for uh, paste extruders, uh, laser engravers as well. Once you've got this CNC-based machine in this compact package on your desk, the possibilities are truly endless. And the whole concept around Roblox is it doesn't get kind of abandoned and put in the garage or the maker space. It's on your desk, so you're throwing at things to do all day long. So why not add all this extra functionality at the same time? We're a small company, we have a very limited marketing ca uh, capability, but we're sat next to the biggest players in the industry here. So we get a spill off, a spill off from those materials. And because one of our machine is truly innovative in this market, the guys look at a, you know, a, a £25,000 machine and they come across and see what they get for you know, a, a £1,000 machine. And the differences aren't that big. So we get all that spill off business that people are looking to buy at home machines or they want several machines for their office and they don't want that huge outgoing investment, especially if they're new to 3D printing.